What's up guys, it's Quacksire Tube here again, and today I had a battle with my good friend Hussein, and he does have a Twitter account, and he does have a YouTube channel, so go check them out, I will leave them in the description below, and he's an awesome battler, very competitive, and yeah, he's beaten me a bunch of times, so yesterday we planned a match, OU rules, and he's like, whoever wins gets to upload it on YouTube, so yeah, and... It was a great match. We had two battles. The first one, I won. But the thing was, he misclicked something on his, um, Aegislash, or he would have swept me with it, but he misclicked something. So, we decided to have another battle, and here it is, okay? So, it was a great battle, great match. He had an awesome team, especially his Ditto, which was very threatening to me. And, yeah. So as you can see, I have a Weezing with leftovers. Tarantar is my Mega. Garchomp has Life Orb. My Tom Flame has Choice Band, and my Breloom has Black Belt, and uh, my Landorus has leftovers. And yeah, I will just go start the battle. Okay, so Sins is showing a challenge. So I lead off with my Landorus. Just like always, um, just to, you know, set up those stealth rocks and knock off some Pokemon if I have to. And so, I intimidate that Ditto, which does have Imposter, so he did turn into my, um, Landris as soon as he entered battle. And yeah, he goes ahead and intimidates me too. So, he goes first because of his Choice Scarf, and I go for the stealth rock. Now that choice scarf is like the scariest thing on that diddle. Like he he can sweep me with that diddle. I'm just kidding, but he will copy every one of my Pokemon with that diddle. <laughs> and yeah, so he switches into his um Crodent, which I go for U turn because that Crodent does have um South Rock, so I set up those uh I mean that Crodent does have Focus Sash, so I set up those Stealth Rocks for it and yeah so I go into my Garchomp now and uh, he goes for the Aqua Jet I, I predicted that Aqua Jet so yeah I went into a Dragon type and I, I go for Outrage now I should not have went for Outrage that's what I kept saying to myself um because he has a zoom roll with him and yeah so I shouldn't have uh, went for Ostrich because now I'm stuck in it. I should have just went for an Earthquake. I think that would have killed too. And yeah, so he goes for the uh, Aqua Jet and, I, and I'm stuck into the Outrage. But now I get out of it and yeah, he, he kills me with an Aqua Jet because I'm like at red HP. And yeah, okay, so my Garchomp's down now. So I go into my Weezing. my bulky tank wheezing so i do go for the will-o-wisp but he avoids it the first turn and now it's getting scary because he has belly drum on him and four plus attack he can just sweep my team with azumarill right now but then um uh, my wheezing let me see what he goes yeah he goes for the aqua jet with my wheezing actually survives like with 7 HP, like Weezing is so defensive. A Belly Drum, a Zoomeral with huge power, Aqua Jet in my Weezing, and I survived with 7 HP. So I went for Haze, everything's back to normal. He's not at plus 4 now. Okay, so he goes for Aqua Jet, and my Weezing's dead. And so I, I, went, I went into my Breloom. And yeah, those stones dug into my breathing, and I go for the spore. Yup, and now Zumo can't do any shit, cause he's asleep. Okay. So he's still asleep, I go for the sword stance, getting as much power as I can. My breathing does do a lot in this battle. He is awesome. You guys should use him. He is very competitive, and yeah, I just recommend him. He, he's he'll help you a lot. Okay, so he goes into his Maval. Zero nineteen, 
and he does switch out predicting I would go for a spore so he, he predicted I would go for a spore so he went into his ditto so he'll copy me and yeah spore doesn't do anything to grass types so yeah so he does mac punch me first because of his choice scarf and yep I am dead that mac punch was very powerful because of my swords dance up and yeah so I go into my Tom flame now Okay, so he does withdraw his, um, Breloom, and he goes into his Mavile. So, I go for the Flare Blitz, and yeah, he probably, I think he thought that I would go for Brave Bird, but I, I actually went for the Flare Blitz, for, like, predicting he would switch out, or even if he stayed in, he would have still got burnt. Like, real hard. He would have died. So, yeah. And he does have the imposter ditto, which I'm really pissed off at right now. Like, he's copying every one of my Pokemon, and he is going first because of his choice scarf. And, yeah. Pissed me off a lot. I need a ditto like that. Dittos are helpful, yo. Okay, so I go into my Tyranitar, which I know a Talon Flame can't do any shit to, and yeah. So I get that Sand Stream up, and I don't know why he withdrew his Talon Flame. He should have just U-turned. Oh wait, no, he couldn't U-turn because of his Choice Scarf. So, yep, that's okay. So he does go into his um Aegislash, and yeah, his Aegislash does have weakness policy. Just like I told you at the beginning of the match, he would have swept me last game, but he can misclick something. And yeah, so I did go for the Dragon Dance, just uh, to get as much power as I can. And he goes for King Shield this turn. And I went for the Earthquake, but he blocked it, so yeah. And then I go for an Earthquake again, and I think that kills. Yep, that kills the Aegislash, which is like, so defensive. Tyranitar is powerful okay so he goes into his ditto which pissed me so much like what the hell keeps copying all my pokemon and yeah so he goes for the earthquake and that does not kill me it almost kills me and i go for the earthquake which will be killing him this turn finally that ditto is gone and yeah okay i think that was a good game maybe does he have another Pokemon? Yep, he has uh, his um, thingy left, Mancino. And yeah, he's just gonna go for Bullet Seed and kill me. <laughs> I have one HP left. Okay, now I'm dead. Okay, so yeah, after this um, Pokemon dies, it'll be a good game. So the um, um, Sandstorm subsided. I think Landorus is my last Pokemon, or maybe not. I don't know, what was it, like a 1-0, 2-0, I don't even care, I won, so yeah, he goes for Tail Slap, and that does no shit, because I intimidated him, and yeah, so the Mancino's about to die here, he hits five times, I go in ahead and knock it off, his King's Rock, which flinches me, it doesn't flinch me, but it, it has more chances of flinching, so yeah. <clears throat> so I get him to yellow health, and he goes for another tail slap. Oh my god. This takes so long, like, it hits five times. Okay, so that's it. Yep, that's it. Okay, so I go for the earthquake, and... Uh, yep, I think that kills. Yeah, it kills. And that was good game. Hassan, that was a good game, and yeah. So go ahead and follow him, follow me, and subscribe my channel, subscribe his channel, like if you enjoyed this video. Peace out, guys.